Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and I am graduate student assistant for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to the NSTC Data Science Flashcard video series. This series will break down data science topics in simple terms that you can leverage throughout your data science journey. Today we will be talking about evaluating time series models. Overfitting is a common challenge in time series modeling. It occurs when a model fits the training data too closely, capturing noises rather than pure patterns. It's crucial to strike a balance between model complexity and performance. Out of sample testing involves splitting your data in a testing set and a training set. This allows you to access how well your model generalizes to unseen data. Cross-validation techniques such as time series cross-validation, TSCV, or rolling window cross-validation helps you evaluate your model performance across different time periods. Key evaluation metrics for the time series models include mean absolute error, MAE, mean square error, MSE, and root mean square error, which is RMSE. This metrics quantify the accuracy of your forecast. The forecasting horizon is the number of periods into the future you want to predict. Evaluating a model's performance over various forecasting horizons helps you understand its strengths and weaknesses. Comparing your model's performance to simple benchmark models like a naive forecast or a moving average for, provides a baseline for assessments. Time series model evaluation isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing process that requires continuous monitoring and model refinement as new data becomes available. By rigorously evaluating your time series models, you ensure that your forecasts are accurate, reliable, and valuable for decision-making in your domain. We welcome you to follow along the rest of NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series to learn more about data science pipeline, data science ethics, and additional topics to support your journey.